hello y'all i'm trying not to look at the flip screen i'm so, <laughs> so used to, i am recording with my new camera i'm trying to situate it to where y'all see more than half my forehead um but <clears throat> i'm letting y'all see the footage right off the bat because i'm kind of really shouldn't be recording yet since i ain't got it where i need it to be but let me lift it up a little bit. Excuse me, I might edit that out. I might and I might not. I try not to edit my videos too much. I just was trying to make it you see my head. My whole head. Alright, anyway. Better? <laughs> so, the sound quality, I mean, if you look at the rest of my videos, it, it my other videos, I have had this four years or longer this i was going to show y'all it was my toshiba camcorder and i'm not even gonna lie i just want a camera to have a camera because i always always love cameras and i can't rely on my phone all the time to take a picture so i've had assets for christmas five years or so ago maybe a little less i'm not quite sure but um I really like I really like my camcorder because I was big into video camming like my nieces and my nephew you know my nieces nephews and my sons and um but it was pretty awesome and I've been using it on every video I've uploaded unless it's a cell phone video so every video before this video was with this camcorder I did have a Samsung for, um camera I used like three times maybe but I didn't like the way the picture quality looked. I love the picture. The pic taking pictures, I wouldn't want to use it for like a camera camera. But I did take some pictures on this and it was good pictures. Um my videos pretty decent. I don't really have only thing is it it takes a minute for it to get that focus in right. And so even though I probably can still go back and forth between this, because like I say, I've had it for years and it's still a good this was like two hundred dollars from walmart i think or amazon and i have no problems with it so this is gonna go back in my box and probably will be my fallback on because i'm still iffy on this sony now there's all kind of unboxing videos if you want i'm not gonna do the unboxing video of this camera i always search for videos about cameras I've been doing some research for a long time to see what camera I wanted and I cannot spend four or five hundred dollars or more on a camera I would love to have a Canon but I'm not gonna be able to do that actually the Panasonic one that's a flip up screen I really like that one but that's like an eight hundred dollar one so I can't do that found this Sony I have it opened um the Sony uh, DSC HX80 and I've done all kind of research on it watch all kind of videos and I've seen enough videos to know kind of how people feel about it I just can't see enough videos of people talking into it and I know it um whatever mics on it is the only one you get I did a test earlier in my car when I got in it just to see how it how it videoed in that but my clamp wouldn't hold on to it so i had to hold it in my hand so i'm just gonna do a, a quick review on it just be talking on it the whole time i can't show you the camera right now because i'm actually on the camera and that's kind of what i wanted all these other people to do like there's all kind of videos out there where they do little test shots and videos of oceans and stuff but my main thing with this camera other than taking pictures of my everyday whatever i want to do when i go somewhere on a trip i want to be able to take a picture and um or video and not have to worry about it and other than that it's for this purpose right here a video on myself so this is what I'm gonna do whole video is gonna be on this one at the end of this video I would do a the little clip of the car scene and maybe um a little short video maybe from off my regular one that I use all the time and showing you just what this looks like so you can see see if you can see the two different qualities I don't know I, I don't have all that expensive stuff to do like split screens I don't know how to do all that I um I use my my regular win, um, Windows Movie the app maker. That's all I use for my editing. So it works for me for right now. There's all kind of cool stuff I see out there, but it ain't nothing I'm dying to have right away. So my main thing is 
is I really, 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 really wanted it. And this thing, I got it from Amazon. It was, I didn't get the whole package that come with memory cards and cases and stands and all that. Because I ain't need all that. I already have an extra memory card. I did order me two extra batteries, a cheaper kind of batteries, not the $35 one. But, um, but it was... 338 y'all that's a lot of money for me to spend on a camera that is a light bill and my car um insurance payment that is, can't take that lightly for nothing when i say i can't afford an expensive camera i mean it even with groupons and stuff there was no coupon that i saw that was for something i wanted i don't want no big bulky camera because it's not going to stay stationed it's going to go with me when i go somewhere and i don't want a big bulky camera I would love to have a nice high quality camera for videoing, but I'm not a big YouTuber like that. I don't think I need to um, invest that kind of money and to just be a camera that never leaves my table. You know what I'm saying? So I figure I want something that I could take around and I like to vlog. So I want to see how it looks and how I, cause I, I was kind of already a little disappointed with it only because I don't know. You know, when you spend that much money on something, you just want it to wow you. And it's just, you know, it's good enough. I'm not saying it's not nice. I just, I don't know. $300 is a lot of money. I thought that's something, you know. But anyway, the viewfinder works fine. I started tripping when I first used it because I forgot to pull the little thing out. When you pop up the viewfinder, you have to actually pull the little viewfinder thing out. Because <laughs> I didn't, so it was blurry. I was like, ah! But anyway, but this is it. I don't know if it's focusing. See, I want to test the focusing on it. I want to see how quick it gets back to my face from doing something else. And it seems like it's doing fine. And Lord knows. Ooh. I hope I didn't lose what I just started recording. Because I missed and hit the wrong button when I was zooming. And I didn't want to get too close to my face. Because I had put some makeup on to just go do something and video this. But I didn't put no foundation on. I just put some um some lipstick. Because I was looking rough. Okay? I was uh, housebound just doing nothing. I had to put a little something, something on my face. But anyway. This is what I got from Amazon. $3.39. I got this twelve dollars. I got a cheaper brand, um, cheaper brand of batteries for it, and it was two batteries, one charger for twelve dollars. I got that, so it was right at three seventy something. Cause of course it's free shipping, but I did have some taxes that I had to pay. So what comes in it is a couple different languages, just stuff, warranty stuff. Which I didn't buy the warranty because either, you know, I, I don't know, I just didn't. I don't, I don't usually drop my stuff. Now that I said that, I'll probably drop it. But, um, got Wi-Fi information. Which I have connected it to my Wi-Fi. One touch guide. You know, I can send it to my phone or my computer. But I have to connect, um, connect it to my computer. And I think down, you know, let it connect to each other first because... I tried it a while ago and it wouldn't send and it told me I had to hook it to my computer so I guess it has to um, do its own thing just it's got information on everything this is the digital um, this is the it just you got your paperwork like I said there's other videos out there for all that pretty much suck at the reviews y'all can see that right I just wanted to give a video review I want y'all to see the quality uh, $300 we'll see um the what came with it other than one battery is this charger usb charger so and i put my memory card in it um i thought that when i took put i was taking pictures and all of it was in there right I wouldn't do a video without a memory card though i was trying like sampling it and stuff but uh when i so i put the memory card in it then I couldn't find the pictures I was took and it was like they was lost. I can't find them for nothing. So I was going to delete them anyway, but psh, I can't find them for nothing. Even with or without the memory card on it, I cannot pull them bad boys up. So, oh, hell they at. Anyway, um, so when I finally took my car log, vlog and went uptown and I came back, I put it on my computer and I tried to watch it. I thought, you know, I took them like I did. With my Toshiba, I take the memory card out. This is where the memory card goes. And see, this is my Toshiba. I, I really, 
I really do like my camera. But I've had it so long. I'm scared it's going to die on me. And I'm going to be left for nothing. And I just wanted a backup. This could be my backup now. If I keep that. But anyway. But it was nothing on the memory card. So it requires a memory card. But it don't store it on the memory card. I haven't yet found how to make it store it on the memory card. So I had to plug it up to my computer the camera to my computer and then i was able to get the video off the camera but um so i'm kind of i mean i just got it today so i you know i'm impatient i don't really read the manuals throughly but i would i don't know how to make it save on the, the video i just don't know if i want to have to move my camera every time i make a video to take it in there to plug it to my computer to get the video i want to just be able to take the memory card out and put it in to my USB reader, stick it in the USB slot, and pull it out like I have been this whole time. So, I need to practice on that a little bit. That right now, that right there is one of my biggest things right now I'm trying to figure out. Because it is, you know, I just need to figure that out. But anyway. Also, some of the pictures are blurry. I try to like do some zooms. You're supposed to press hold and when it's green, take the picture because that means it's gonna clear it, you know. But every time I press hold, wait, and then click, them damn pictures is blurry. Now if I just hurry up and click it, half the time those come out good. I'm so confused on the damn pictures. I want to know when I want to take a shot of my child doing something I think is funny. I want to make sure the damn picture look is good. Almost every picture I took of my cat or my son was blurry so i don't know if it's me i don't know if it's just the way the camera is i don't know but i'm not happy with the picture quality yet i don't know about the video it looks it looks good in my opinion i don't you know like i said i don't deal with high quality stuff so i don't know what that's like but i think my camcorder had good video so <laughs> we we shall see my video this video Mainly is all this is going to be. I just want to do a video with somebody seeing somebody talk on it and what it looks like. Because I search for those videos and I just don't find a lot of them. So every time I see somebody doing talk, you know, did a review of this camera and then they're doing a video and then I'm like, did you use your Sony? And then they're like, no, they use the can. I'm like, well, damn. I want a video where you're using it so I can see what it looks like. Anyway. I'm hoping the sound quality at least to be better on this than on my um, camcorder because the truth about this is sometimes you can hear me on this and sometimes you can't. I don't know exactly what was going on with it. It's old, you know. Might just need to clean the area out, I reckon. I don't know. Still do love my camcorder though. But I, I want to like this. Um, I'm just not 100% satisfied with it just because I want it to work the way I want it to work. I want my pictures to be pretty. I want the video to sound and look good. It's focusing it looks like pretty good on me right now. Like I'm moving. It's got this little square box that keeps moving um, with me. Keeping my face clear. I like that. So we shall see um, how it's going to work for me. But here now is a video of this camera online. Um, maybe there's other stuff anybody wants to know just sit i always reply to comments ask me i'll answer any questions that i know or i can look it up but mostly there's so many videos out there of this cam um camera that i just feel like um you get way more information technical stuff from somebody else i just wanted you to see visual from me <laughs> now i took a couple pictures whether they clear or not i will put it on at the end of this video that you see i'm gonna let you know whether i held i'm gonna just do a couple of random things and put little notes under it so you can understand what i mean about the pictures could be just me i just want to be able to pick up my camera and shoot i don't want to have to worry about this shit but anyway because i do take pictures a lot and i cannot rely on my phone all the time the memory is full i'm always having to delete something just to have memory and i got pictures galore on it now and and, and then it don't take all that great of pictures sometimes you know i love it though but they always say this ain't good for low light i have my two little beauty lamps shining on me this behind me so i was gonna see how this is 
doing and I'm thinking it's doing so I'm going to go take some pictures I, I think that was um I think pretty much that's what I want to do do a video with showing how this feed looks I don't really think there's anything else I want to talk about because like I said technical stuff you can just hate to take in that but I um just find another video about it the people that know a little bit more about what they're talking about because there's like 50% of this stuff in the menu I have no clue what it is <laughs> I might play with it a little bit but I don't want to have no clue what it is and I don't mess with it if I don't know what it is so Right now, I just wanted to get the video and the pictures looking good. And then I'll worry about the rest afterwards. So, my main thing is, is I am going from a Toshibo. Toshibo. <laughs> I was reading this and it's got an O in it. And I said Toshibo. It's Toshiba. I don't know how to say this now. Camellio X100. Going from that. Calling myself up right now to the Sony. The Sony DSC HX80. And I know this ain't one of the best, cheaper vlogging cameras, but it does have a lot of videos out there on it. And it made me, out of everything I was looking at, it made me want it. I really would love to have a, a more of a zoom. I would really love to have one with a lot. But the other one that I was looking at, I can't remember the name of it. I don't know if it was a Sony 2. Can't remember the name of it. But it it had a really good zoom um but it was almost six hundred dollars I, I mean i don't that's just too much money i can't do that i can't in fact i almost didn't get this one just because 300 that's just too much money because once you add all the taxes and everything else you got to buy to go with it was right at four hundred dollars and really my kind of lifestyle i kind of be you know we don't i don't need a camera that costs that much but to have a decent camera that has a flip screen on it um it's this like the cheapest one out there that is worth having you know for video and that you want it to be decent and take good pictures so i'm kind of struggling with it i like it so far i'm gonna keep it but i am gonna play with it all night long probably do one more video with it and go look i'm gonna go look at it on the screen and just see what i think so far y'all i give it a one thumbs up and a half thumbs up just because like I say I don't know all about it I don't know everything about it I know it's got Wi-Fi I know you could transfer it to a phone and computer I haven't done it but I know you can do it it's got a decent enough zoom I personally um really like the ones that have long zoom i'm not even gonna lie if i could see the moon with it that would be awesome <laughs> but um i can get a telescope for that if it comes down to it my camera don't have to have that but now i'm rambling so if you ain't never um if you haven't subscribed subscribe i know i'm mostly a beauty channel um haul channel and stuff just rambling channel I don't really have enough technology to say I'm a technology channel, but I do love it. I do love cell phones. I do love um, technology. I just don't, I'm not surrounded by it. You have to wait till I have something that I can brag about it. Like this camera. Y'all don't know how big this is. I, I got to think hard and long if I can spend and leave, not get my refund on this because if I keep it and end up being not satisfied with it, I, it'll haunt me forever because that was almost $400. That I should not have spent and it'll haunt me. So I gotta think long and hard about it. I really want a camera and I really want a viewfinder. So it's something I had to think about and I really, really like it. I was looking at the Nikon, the Nikons, Nikons, whatever. I really like the one them, but they're still right at two hundred dollars to get the flip screen, you know. I just don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna stick with this. I bought it. I'm gonna say I'm I I like it I just need to figure it out I need to learn a little bit more about it this video was not oh this is another thing I could have told y'all I'll let y'all read it instead of me trying to say all that but um I'm going to say so far I'm planning on keeping it I just need to learn it a little bit more so like I'm saying again this video is not to to um technically tell you about it because i i can't do that i'm still trying to figure it out i just wanted you to see the video hear the video 
and see what it looks like when you're talking on it because so many people just like me commented in people's comments are you are you vlogging now or are you doing this video with this camera and they always say no well i'm with them i want to see a video with the camera so here's a video with the camera <laughs> So hopefully y'all can get past my rambling and subscribe, come back, holler, whatever. Just check, just check me out. Like I say, um, if I hit the lottery or something, then we'll be good to go. Give me what I really want. But till then, I'm gonna stick. I think I'm, I like it. It's small. It it kind of is small. I'm, I'll hold it. I'll video it. I'll show you. Get my hands out my camera. But anyway, I'm gonna go. I'm rambling now. Start repeating myself. So. I hope it recorded the first session because I don't I don't know if I if I hit the wrong button and it turns it off do it save it I don't know I gotta figure it out <laughs> all right laters until the stuff I add to after this y'all um let me find the button because it's not facing me I think this is it Now, this is the camera that I was just recording off of. This is the Sony 30X Optical Zoom. This is the way it looks on the back. Y'all can see the way my camcorder looks. Flip it up. I'm always worried about that, messing up the little information cord. I'm going to turn it on, which is right there. Let's see. I don't know how much memory this has because I haven't charged the battery in a minute. So it says it has some. But in all honesty, I don't know if it's how much it does once it starts to record. I just wanted you to see that this is what it looks like. Okay. And I'm actually going to hit this movie button. Oh, it won't do the movie because I took the memory card out. Duh. But I was going to record that recording. But anyway, enough of that. Don't come in here while I'm doing this video. Okay, so like I was saying, there's this flash button here. If you press it to the side, it pushes up the flash. It's blurry. It's focusing on me and not the camcorder. Off. I mean the camera. And this little spot here is this little thing on the side. This is the viewfinder I was talking about. You push that out. And, uh, and when you put something there, it like blocks out that, which that's neat. But it works pretty good. I mean, it kind of hurts my eyes, in all honesty, because <laughs> I feel like I'm going cross-eyed and staring at something tiny. But anyway, but this is the camera. I I like it. It's just, um, it's, it does a lot on it. It's just, I feel like my hands are so big, you know, and it's like hard just to, just to match that little dot that's right there. To, that's the okay button, that little dot <laughs> that a Q-tip is bigger than. Which, you know, you don't want to expect too, too, too much, of course. But I think it's, I just don't know if it's $300. You know, like I said, I'm not, I don't know all about that technology and stuff. But I really like, I wanted a flip up screen. I got the side flip, like you can see here, my side flip up screen. And you know what, I might not take a video, but it's, take a picture. Turn on, please. And, um, I'm going to take a picture of... My regular thing. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I could try that. Um, press hold to it clears and mash. We we'll see. We'll see. No card. It might not save. For all I know. I forgot about that too. But anyway, I just wanted to show you what I was talking about. I feel like I got eight pans, so I feel like I don't think I'll drop it. I just feel like I'll mash stuff I don't mean to mash trying to hold it. Cause some people is like that. Um. That feels awkward to me, and even holding it like that, seriously, my fingers still touch the movie button and all this. So, I feel, oh, it might be a little too small for my big ass hands. I don't know. I do like it, and um, I just have to. And this, uh, uh, push the little memory card, that's the way the battery goes. And the memory card goes right there. I do have one that I had a memory card I bought that I haven't opened for my new camera. But this one's still working so good, I hate to open a new one yet. But needless to say, right now I'm recording on my Toshiba. 
and I've had it like I say five years or so and this is the new one I just got and I did a lot of research on YouTube a lot, lot a lot of watching the videos and um and the thing is it always switches you to a different camera even though you have not typed that camera in <laughs> so I had to keep making sure I was watching the right damn Sony camera and I think also this one must overheat. They don't record no longer than 29 minutes. I'm not I don't like that. You know I got like 40 or 50 minute videos. So but I can just hit record again. No problem. I just don't want it to overheat. My camcorder don't do that. It'll record like 45, 55 minutes and, uh, without stopping. So see, sometimes that newer technology ain't as good as the older. Just want the picture. And the video to look good. So this is my regular videos that I usually do all the time. So I'm going to go take some pictures and then put it all on my computer and upload this video. Because I haven't uploaded it in a minute. And i really been waiting to do some kind of video other than makeup. So I knew I was going to do a video about my cam a camera when I got it. I'm going to experiment, experiment, experiment. And I will check back in in the comments and pin it and stuff let you know exactly what I think and if I kept it and everything like that but any questions ask because off the bat just telling you I don't know just google it I mean not google it you know google it on YouTube search it on YouTube and you'll find all kind of information out and they and then they seem like they know what they're talking about I can't tell you something too technical because I don't know what I'm talking about so. anyway enough is enough I did just get it today. I've only had it for a couple of hours, so I need to play with it. I charged the battery. It did come with a little bit of battery. I did charge the battery, but um, it's it, my hands, I think, are too big for it. If I was somewhere using it, I would have to hold it like that, like myself. But if I was trying to use it to cam or take a picture, then I wouldn't even have that up anyway, so I would still have to hold it like this. Uh, there's no way where that grip is there's no way I can hold it on that side because that's where all the buttons is and my hands are right on top of them so I would definitely have to be ass backwards and hold it like this <laughs> I can't I can't hold it where the grip is and that shit don't work for me but anyway enough is enough I will leave it alone so hopefully y'all follow me through the end of this video hopefully I ain't talk you to death <clears throat> Like I said, leave a comment. Don't be rude, because I can be rude back. Alright. Laters, everybody. I don't know. If you can see me, I don't know if this thing is going to actually hold my camera. But I'm doing a video test on here. And I don't know if it's recording or not. But I'm trying to decide if I'm keeping this camera or not. For 300 and something dollars. I don't feel like it's worth it right this moment. This is probably going to be bouncy because of what I got it on. And I don't think it's going to hold my camera. This is the, see if it picks up the bright lights. I know when I'm taking pictures, everyone that I press and hold and then click ends up being blurry. And it says it press, hold to focus, then click, and it's blurry. But if I just mesh it real fast and take it, um, it's actually a better picture. Uh, I'm, I'm on the fence with this. But I wanted to see how this would work with a, being a vlogging camera. And and really how the volume's working and how my picture's looking. Because this is the camera that I want to do my um, makeup things on. And if it ain't no better quality than my video camera that I got now camcorder then I'm just gonna turn it in because 300 or something dollars is a lot of money for something that ain't no better than what you got already and pay $200 for so I'm going to check my mail and then I guess this will be all I'll do for this right now but it is kind of hard to look at the lens and not this picture thing but anyway I'm gonna get off of here